Hello piggy people, how are you guys doing? So I know right now in the world it is a crazy time, lots of stuff happening, lots of uncertainty, lots of scary things in the media. So let's all share down in the comments things that we're thankful for. Because I know there's a lot of things to be nervous and anxious about right now. So let's try to focus on some positives. So I'm going to start with what I am thankful for. So just recently uh, our sump pump a hose cracked and was leaking water everywhere which meant I couldn't do my pig laundry because that goes right into the sump pump hole. So pig laundry was backing up and I am thankful for my father. So my dad is a really generous kind person who is so handy and smart and he came over and fixed the sump pump for us and my mom I'm thankful for her as well so mom is selfless she would do absolutely anything for us kids she took my pig laundry home and washed it all so we're talking like 10 12 loads she took our people clothes to wash as well Mom just recently took Annie to the vet for me because I had to work. And as you guys know, Annie had that hay in her ear that needed to get out. So Mom took Annie for me and that meant sitting in the parking lot for probably over an hour because with the new protocols, you couldn't be inside. So she took Annie and sat in the parking lot waiting for her. So I'm very thankful for my parents. I just can't imagine not having them. So another thing I'm really thankful for is that I had two really kind people pick up veggies for me for the pigs. So I've been having a hard time finding vegetables for the pigs when I go to the grocery store. A lot of the time it's out. So a friend from work, Becky, she picked me up stuff and she also picked up some flour for my mom. Mom couldn't find flour to make bread. So that was really sweet and kind of her. She always does kind things for me. And my sister was the other one who went and picked up a ton of stuff for the pigs because she was out grocery shopping and she must have been there at the right time, so she brought a whole pile of stuff over for the pigs. So I'm so thankful for that. She is a super sweet person as well. I am uh, thankful for my husband. He's always here for me and very supportive, and I don't know where I'd be without him. I am thankful for all my little pigs I love each and every one of them and I'm really thankful when they're all having a happy day and just enjoying themselves. I'm thankful that I'm fortunate enough to have a roof over my head and food in my home and I'm fortunate that I have a job so that I can pay for things. I know a lot of people it must be super scary right now being out of work. Uh, I know some people do get paid while they're off and I'm sure other people do not and have to file for unemployment. So I think I am very lucky. So I'm also very thankful for the guinea pig community. So many of you are so supportive and so sweet and always there when I need a lift so I've had some scary things go on recently, mainly with Velvet, as you guys all know. And it was really heartwarming for everybody to be so kind. And I actually had a message from someone who said that their guinea pig has a hernia. And it has been the same for over five months. So their piggy is a male who's about four years old, hasn't had surgery, and she said it just appeared one day. And in the picture that she sent me, it looked actually really similar to where Velvet's is. So that made me feel a lot better, knowing that another pig, for no reason, got a hernia and is doing well. I'm also thankful for my friends. 
So my friends, uh, I may not have many friends in person, but um, I do have a best friend that I see often, and her name is Lacey, and I'm really thankful for her. Uh, we've been through highs and lows together, and I can always count on her whenever I need her. And my friend Crystal, I'm so thankful for her. She has helped me with some major anxiety that I've had. Again, most of it has to do with the pigs, but she really knows what to say and is such a great listener. I'm so thankful for the vet clinics that I have found. So my main vet clinic has the nicest people in the world working there. There's not very many of them, but they are always so kind, caring, and compassionate and really do everything they can to accommodate you and to fit you in for appointments, help with emergencies, answer questions. And the other vet clinic that I found recently for spaying the ladies has been wonderful as well. A really nice place to go to and very supportive. So lastly, I am thankful for my health and I hope I can continue to be thankful for being healthy. I know so many people in the world have suffered recently and I cannot even fathom the sadness. So I hope that all of you out there are safe and doing well and I hope everybody who is having a hard time can recover and I hope the community, the world, everybody can come together and support each other and I hope in a few months time everything will be looking more positive and back to the way we were used to. So thank you for all of you guys that watch my videos and support me. I'm thankful for every single one of you. And I know the piggies are as well because you guys truly help me pay for things. Um, YouTube started out as a just a passion for me to share my pigs. And it's really been something I look forward to doing. Sharing experiences and knowledge and connecting. So thank you guys. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!